Um, so many uh, or students who learn, but certainly when they're trying to trying to self learn from from YouTube videos and whatnot, and teachers especially, they try and think in a very linear fashion. So I just want to kind of commute communicate to you guys one of the first things that I learned when I was teaching guitar, especially. Um, learning guitar is not like assembling a playset. It's not a logical step-by-step -step process. It's not as logical as you may think. So if you're assembling a Lego set or a toy that you get for Christmas, you have to do step one, step two, step three, step four to assemble it together. And you can't do step four before you've done step two and three, for example. That is very different to how learning guitar works. Um, that method can work. What you'll find is it will just take forever. If you only master all the chords that you have on guitar before you take on any strumming pattern, learning all the chords and mastering them first will not help you play the strumming pattern. If you just work on the chords and then a strumming pattern, that is not going to help you play an actual song because what a song requires you to do is play a few chords together with a strumming pattern and have solid changes and do them both at the same time. So from the off what you really need to do is kind of work on doing everything at once which is why it's difficult. So the one thing that I've made very stripped down to the way that anyone else might teach guitar or the way that anyone would learn guitar is fewer chords. Only take on two chords to start off with, I recommend just E and A, and then be very careful when you add new chords to that, and when you do add new chords to that, be careful of what you expect from them, because for one new chord, it's not learning one new chord that's hard, it's if you know five chords, that's now six new chord changes that you need to need to practice. So for one new thing, you've got six other things to, to now work on. The six combinations, or probably even more combinations than that when you go between them all. So that's why taking on fewer chords, but working on all the other things and playing real songs right away is the fastest way to learn guitar as an absolute beginner. And also, that's why you shouldn't be too hard on yourself if you're taking on a lot of new things and not really mastering any of them. That's a good thing to a certain extent because you're working on a lot of different skills at once and you're not just working on one thing. But we need you to get certain songs and certain ones that I recommend throughout my beginners course at a certain level along to the record and I've pushed those certain ones throughout my beginners course and I keep track and recommend those ones um, in my beginners ebook that's going to be coming out around Christmas and hopefully this practice schedule um, or practice blueprint should really help you guys in uh, organizing your practice routines a little bit better and being a little bit more productive with your valuable practice time.